Uh, nine, nine turnovers, 25 assists. Uh, I thought they were, they were phenomenal numbers. We really shared the ball well, shot it well. Um, a little disappointing in the rebounding, but uh, overall, just, just a really great effort. Nothing things start to finish. Can you talk a little bit more just uh, the, the intensity at the beginning of the game? It seemed like you were in attack. Yeah, we did. We had a couple of really good practices leading up to this. Uh, not really happy with our defense, and and I thought we came out and played really hard. I thought we even at the second half when we had a big lead, came out and continued to play hard. And uh, offensively, things were just clicking for us, which made it a little bit easier, I think, to play defense. After the game, was there a certain element that you focused on? Uh, yes, there was. It was defensively. Oh. Um, defensively, they, we thought we gave up too many points. So. We really worked hard. Monday we had a completely defensive practice, no offense whatsoever, and then yesterday continued on, on with the defense and did a little bit of offense too, but um, mostly we're really keen on our defense right now. Can you talk a little bit about the shooting, especially I mean, nine and 12, three and 12 shooting? Yeah, I mean, Mike shot it really well. It was great to see her coming off um, screens and, and getting good looks, and then everybody else, I, I think it was just one of those nights when, when it was a uh, very friendly room for us. And, you know, sometimes when you come home, you don't know how that's going to go. And so it was great to have all the people from here come down and see Kayla play one of the best games that, that she's had all year. Uh, just a phenomenal effort, uh, I thought, in the whole game. This being her last game in her home city, what she meant to this program? Wow. She has been unbelievable for our program. Uh, the contribution that she has made to, to get us to the Final Four the last few years, um, what she's done for us against Connecticut, uh, I think has been phenomenal. And she is really just somebody that uh, is so poised under pressure, so coachable, works extremely hard, always in the gym. Um, she's going to be your replacement. What makes her so coachable? Everyone talks to a high school coach and say she's so easy to work with. What makes yeah. her that way? She wants to be good, and she wants to. She responds to a challenge. Uh, she she doesn't want to just be a scorer. She wants to be a great defender. She wants to be a great rebounder. She wants to get assists. Uh, she wants to do it all, and and she's not happy unless she's doing it. Uh, all so it's it's really it's great to see somebody like that who, who doesn't relax when she has 20 points. She comes in the next day and wants to work harder at something else. Can you talk about the uh, different ways your team scores? And just how important it was to see Jewel with those, those drives, the three point shooting, Natalie. And we really were trying to go inside. I think that was our game plan was to really get off um, the start by going inside. We thought we had a big mismatch uh, in terms of size and. With starting Taya and Ace, both of them could score on the block. So we really looked to start in, inside and then go outside. We got some things to open up for us on the perimeter uh, after we did that. And uh, you know, from there, I think it was just a matter of, of picking our spots and what, how we wanted to score. How important was it to have a game like this after Virginia and just yeah. before Texas? Yeah, it was really important. I, I think we all feel a lot better about a game like this. It's not about the wins, really, at this point in the season. I mean, it's more about how we're playing and how we're executing. We want to feel good when we leave the floor, and, and I think tonight we feel good. Okay. Is everybody going to be healthy? Yeah, Ariel's questionable. She'll be questionable. She has an Achilles strain, and uh, we're, she's in a boot right now, so we're we're just going to wait and see. I was thinking Taya did. Uh, I thought she did very well. Yeah, I, I thought she did. You know, Ariel gives us so many things with their experience and her defense and her rebounding. Um, and, and Taya does some things offensively that really helped us. But uh, yeah, I was really I was proud of her today. I might have missed this, but you mentioned focusing on defense and practice the last two weeks. Were you or the past two days? Were you? What were your thoughts on the defense night, like 66 points? Well, you know, I thought first half was very good. You know, I, I thought the first half was very good. I, I thought late in the game, um, I thought we weren't as interested defensively as we could have been. Um, but you know, I, I like to look at the first half. That's when we had our, our main players in the game, and, and I was pleased with that. And then for Jewel and Kayla, what did you guys see out there offensively that? allowed you to put up 109 points. <laughs> um, I think we were just really patient, and uh, we stuck to the game plan, and we just, I think we were starting to know each other a lot more better on the court, and um, you just trying to be patient and make the right decisions. Yeah, I think we were just sharing the ball. I think we had 25 assists today, so, you know, just, just making the extra pass, and there's a great, there's a good shot right there. We could probably find a better one, and we did, and we were hitting tonight. Jewel, what was different for you offensively? Um, I think I'm just more patient, um, just being relaxed and not trying to force anything and just take my time. Um, my teammates found me uh, when I was open. They gave me confidence really, so um, you know, I can pray with my teammates. Kayla, can you talk a little bit about just what you've done?
done in this state uh, for your <laughs> career as a collegiate player? Yeah, it's, it's, it's always good to come back home and just see familiar faces and get my family. Um, just, just you kind of feel at home, even though I'm not really home. But uh, it, it's just, it's just, it's just a great feeling, especially as a senior, to be able to come home and play in front of a home crowd. Um, it's, it's just amazing, especially to be with this team and, and this program that I love so much. Can you talk a little bit about the defense, where you think you guys made some strides, what are some areas you still think you need them? Definitely okay. just containing the ball. I think that that's something that we've struggled with, especially with athletic teams that like to get to the rim. It's something that we're working on, and um, you know we're going to have to continue to do that because we have a lot more games coming up. For Coach and both of the players, um, Tennessee is a team you've had success against. What are you looking for from them in your next game? And just what do you make of that team? Well, they're a great team. Uh, they're, they're just so talented. They're playing pretty well. Um, and playing on their floor is going to be difficult. I, I think for them, they're looking at this game as a really important game uh, going in. They, they need uh, feel like they need a big win to kind of get back on track. Um, and for us, it's a chance to step outside the conference and Really, it's, it's kind of a nothing to lose game. You know, we don't lose any standing in the ACC. We um, get great preparation for a Final Four team. Um, so I, I think it's only positive. Um, I, I think it's just it's just great for this team to be in an atmosphere like that. It's going to be like an NCAA tournament game. And just for us to go out and execute our game plan, I, I think Coach has been talking about that, just taking it one game at a time and making sure that we execute against each and every team. I think it's going to be a good challenge for us. Joel, the team had 10 students. We have four of them. Talk about how you guys need to, to have that element to get your transition game rolling. Yeah, we're just trying to get more aggressive. I'm trying to get in the right uh, place in defense, get the passing lanes a little bit, and kind of like take a risk. Um, yeah, I got to trust my athletic ability sometimes, and I'm trying to do that. But it also helps me a good ball pressure from up top, and um, you know we just we just want it more. And I think it's just mental, and, and one day more you just try to <clears throat> get skills. Coach, a few years ago you guys came here and beat Pitt. I think maybe a little more than you did tonight. What do you see in the program, I guess, either from the coaching perspective or just where they are as opposed to? Yeah, they had a great win against Virginia, and I, I think we really came in ready uh, for a really good battle tonight. Kiesel, one of the best point guards in the league. Uh, I think she's she's really a phenomenal player. Maybe if she hadn't gotten hurt, they would have uh, done a little bit more in the second half, but she got 20 on us, and we were really keen on trying to guard her. So uh, I think I think now they have some upperclassmen finally. I think for a few years they really didn't have any upperclassmen. I think Susie's going to do a great job for them. Uh, they've already won, uh, I think, probably more games than they did last year, so I, I think they're in, in great shape right now. Kayla, midway through the second, you shot a three-pointer, and it sounded like you yelled short when it left your hand, and you ended up swishing it. Was it just that kind of a night for you? I mean, you shot 8 of 11. Yeah, I think I was just in the, the flow of things. I think that uh, we were just sharing the ball really well and just trying to find the open people. I think I was just kind of in the flow of the game. Um, I was pretty comfortable out there. Can you elaborate uh, just about the, the balance in your passing attack? You had two players with five assists, a couple with three, a couple with four. Yeah, I, I think our chemistry is, is continuing to build. I think that we're, we're starting to be able to execute a lot better, and it's something that we've been working on, and, and you know, just just knowing who we're on the court with and, and what they want to do. You know, where they want the ball. You know, Ace wants on the on a block. You know, Joe can do a lot of different things. Mike wants on three-point line. You know, just trying to get them where they're comfortable, and I think that we're doing a good job with that. Anything else? Really happy with the uh, Notre Dame Club. We had a, a great crowd out there tonight from Madison and came out, and we really appreciated that. All right. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate it. Thank you.